Hello, everybody. In this video, I will be showing you how to get the Mark of Pride charm. This charm increases your attack range by 25%, which I personally love, mostly because I suck, which you will be able to see clearly in this video. So let's start. To get the Mark of Pride, you have to challenge and defeat the Mantis Lords. The charms I'm using for this are the Fluke Nest, Long Nail, and Steady Body Charm. You don't need these, but I use the Flukenist Charm for more vengeful spirit damage. The Long Nail Charm so I can hit them after their dashing attack without trying to chase them. And the Steady Body Charm, because the amount of times I got knocked back into the spikes is crazy and I started getting annoyed. You don't need them. If you're even slightly better than me, this will be a relatively easy fight. So go down here and challenge them. The arena will change and one will come out when this Lord does their sliding charge attack. Jump over them and either hit them on the head or hit them after you land. When they do a ground slam attack, step out of the way and get a couple hits in. Our goal is to gain soul at the moment. When they hang on the wall, they'll throw a spinning disc at you. Don't be an idiot and jump into it. If it goes above you, wait for it to come back around, then you can jump over it. If it goes at you, then jump over it. When it comes back around, it will be above you and won't hit you. Now once you have some soul, when they do the slam attack, cast Vengeful Spirit, those are the only three moves they do. So now it's just rinse and repeating until this one decides to croak. Then, the two other lords decide they want to have some fun. They add a new move. They both hang on the wall and throw the spinning disc. If it comes together and spins together, wait by the corner. Then jump into the middle once they part. That's the only added move, however you have to pay close attention because they both attack at the same time. However, just like before, all you need to do is attack when they do the sliding attach and use the vengeful spirit when they do the slamming attack. Make sure you know where the other Lord is before you start the vengeful spirit though, otherwise you might just get destroyed. The amount of times that's happened to me is beyond unfortunate. The only time you can heal is in the first phase and only when they do the slamming attack but don't even try to heal in the second phase. It's more important to learn the moveset. They have less health in the second phase to balance it out. So if you know the moveset and you don't stupidly jump into the spinning disc attack like me, it should be a pretty easy and fun fight. Once they die, they'll bow to you and the path to the deep nest will be open, ignoring that cancer. Let's go get our rewards. Climb back up the wall. One of the biggest perks of beating them is none of the mantis will attack you any longer, so long as you don't attack them. Go to the middle and climb up a bit to where the kid mantis is attached to a floating block. Then enter the doorway on the right and go down. Climb up the wall at the back and on your left will be a lever. Hit it if you haven't already. Then go into the doorway on your right. This is their treasury. If you've been here before, you'll know it was locked by this mantis previously. Climb up the wall to the top and open the chest. You get a hollowness seal, then just go to your right and drop down while hugging the right wall. And enter this doorway, in Sid will be another chest. And a lot of geo. Go out and back down, then up into the ceiling, if you can call it that. Then jump over the spikes and up the wall, open the chest. Inside is our lovely charm, the mark of pride. Very nice. Now back out of this cove and down to the right, which I probably should have mentioned first. God damn right. Is the bench. Now that's all. I won't be showing you the deep nest. Matter of fact, I probably won't make a video on it because... Yeah, I hate this place. But anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. This took me far too long, so I sincerely hope you won't have to spend any longer than necessary here. If you somehow made it to this point, then thanks for sticking around. If you did happen to find this video helpful or enjoyed, then please like and subscribe. It would really help out the channel and mean a lot to me. Until next time.